John Clyde Day, I'm the editor of Urban Realm and organiser of the Carbuncle Awards. The trophy you see before you is the infamous cloak in the plinth, and as you might be able to guess from the scenery behind us, we are in New Cumnock. New Cumnock is the most recent beneficiary of this esteemed gong, and I'm here today with Jeff Crowley from the local community, who will be taking possession of it. This, this trophy here is more than just a or an ornament for the mantelpiece. This is a catalyst for change. This is something which can knock heads together in the council, which can galvanise the local community who are feisty, campaigning for a better community, and actually bring about real change. Not least from the town hall behind us, which is a fantastic building, but sadly in a state of decay. So, Jeff, um, this, this gives me not a great deal of pleasure, but nevertheless, um, I hope. Can make good use of this. John, thank you very much. Uh, I hope it's a change for the better. It's good to be. We need help. Thank you. I've had a lot of thoughts about the carbuncle, um, whether it was a good thing or a bad thing to get. There's a lot of people say that it's uh, a slap in the face to newcomer at four. It's one thing it's not, it's a slap in the face to newcomer at four. The newcomer at four are absolutely brilliant. If it wasn't for them, newcomer would have died a long, long time ago. I recently arrived at New Cumnock uh, on the basis of an appeal from the local community uh, from the, the chap Jeff Crowley behind us who was taking possession of the award. Um, they're looking for help, they're looking for an outside organisation to come in and help realise their own ambitions for the redevelopment of the town, for new uses to be brought in for some redundant buildings, for methods of bringing in new retailers to come up with alternative industries to replace the, the mining which is declining and to basically revitalise a town which has been languishing in the back of the couch for far too long. Um, we need to give people a reason to, to stop and there are plenty of reasons here to stop. Um, we've got some stunning countryside uh, around us here which uh, anyone in Glasgow would spend an arm and a leg to come out here with lots of money. Um, no, they could be spending money in restaurants, they could be spending money in, in cafeterias, hotels. Uh, there isn't anything really to cater for that pent-up demand. It's also now a gateway to the biosphere down south. Now the biosphere, a lot of people don't know about it, but it's a UNESCO biosphere. It's um, Galloway and Southern Ayrshire biosphere. Now there's a lot of money going to be pumped into the biosphere. We are a gateway to that. We should be benefiting from that and being a gateway to Ayrshire. Well listen, if they don't take this on board, if the council doesn't take this on board, it's an utter disgrace. I mean, we're being branded now as, as a worst place in Scotland to live. And, and it's a great place, the people are fantastic. You couldn't meet better people anywhere in the world. Uh, but people have left us with a town that people have enjoyed. And that's wrong. From 8,000 down to 3,000 and people don't care, and it's a bit time the politicians woke up to the fact that we do live here, we're a proud people, and we're proud of our town, and we want it to, to remain. We don't want any more awards such as this, we want this place to be brought back to life.